Welcome to a Monday morning, everybody. It's 646 and you can almost see the moisture hanging in the air there on the webcam shots. There is a lot of it out there. Uh, it feels very sticky outside. That's going to be the case throughout today. Tonight we'll start to lose some of that humidity and tomorrow it's going to feel far more refreshing. We do have an area of low pressure and a frontal system that's off to our west. That's going to move through today. Today is the best chance of picking up a shower or thunderstorm across the area. We're not really looking for severe weather, but some of these storms could have some small size hail, maybe some gusty winds. The bigger threat would be some torrential rainfall because there's so much moisture in the atmosphere. That said, there may be some areas that just pick up a passing shower, a few sprinkles, uh, but if we do get under one of those cells, it's going to be some heavy rainfall. And you can see most of our area is dry now. This is already moving outside the Fox 17 viewing area. So let's zoom into Oceana County up around Hart there. There's a few uh, showers, no thunder in any of this or lightning, uh, cloud to ground lightning. Any of that. Uh, that's up towards Mason County, which is actually along the US 10 corridor. That's outside of our area. There's some much heavier rain there with some thunderstorms that's lifting off to the north and east. So that's actually going to be uh, moving outside of our area. Then there's just some rain showers out here. This cluster of storms is producing rainfall rates at about two to four inches per hour. It's incredible and it's not moving very quickly. If that holds together, that's going to come across Lake Michigan and get our southern counties. And that's it. There's nothing behind that. So this is not going to be an all day rain for us. Uh, the best chance of some showers and storms will be about the first part of the day into the early afternoon. And then I think as we get into the later afternoon, that threat of shower and thunderstorm activity will shift off to the south and east of Grand Rapids. Look at the temperatures. We're anywhere from 72 to 74 degrees, 72 in Hastings, 73 in Allegan. Grand Rapids is 74 degrees. Spring Lake is 75, and our northern counties are in the low to mid 70s out there. But again, it's that humidity. It feels very tropical out there, and it's going to be easy to rain a lot of that moisture out of the atmosphere as that system comes in. Mostly cloudy, warm, humid today. Some scattered showers and thunderstorms likely for uh, the area with temperatures getting into the lower 80s and a southwest to turning west wind at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. So here's what the forecast map and model has at uh, nine o'clock some showers and thunderstorms around the area that will move on through. There may be development this afternoon redevelopment, especially south and east of Grand Rapids over towards Jackson and the Detroit area. Otherwise, that big high pressure area is going to build in here that will decrease the clouds overnight that will uh, kind of just strip out a lot of the moisture out of the atmosphere. And by tomorrow, things look pretty good. We'll have a far cooler, drier, more comfortable air mass in here. This week, cold front will slide in here Wednesday night into Thursday. That may produce a shower, but today is clearly our better chance of seeing some shower and some thunderstorm activity. So we got scattered showers and thunderstorms in the forecast. And as we look at the wind situation, the winds are going to ramp up. This is what they are now, according to the forecast model. But as we go through the day, you can see the colors ramp up. Those are tied to the wind speeds. We'll see at least 10 to 20, maybe 15 to 25 mile per hour sustained winds. That's going to drive some high beach hazard risks uh, and a high swim threat out on Lake Michigan, as well as small craft advisories. So that is not a good place to be today for tomorrow on our Tuesday, a cooler, drier, more comfortable air mass, 78 degrees there, 83 and dry on Wednesday, Wednesday night into early Thursday, a shower possible with that passing front, but I think most of us will miss out on that. Then we're in the upper 70s to lower 80s for the rest of the week. Looks like a very pleasant week by that time. Coming up on 650 here, let's take a look at traffic. Here's Rob.